हेलो नमस्कार आदाब सत्यकाल कसे काय केडो हाल आहे केम छो वेलकम टू स्पॉटलाइट विथ आभा एंड आई एम योर होस्ट आभा जाधव फ्रेंड्स अ फ्यू डेज बॅक आई हॅव अटेंडेड द ग्लोबल प्रोग्रेसिव अचीवर्स अवॉर्ड सेरेमनी ऑर्गनाइज्ड बाय मिस रचना भीम राजका द फाउंडर ऑफ द ग्लोबल एजुकेटर्स फ्रेटर्निटी इन मुंबई वेअर आई केम अक्रॉस एन अमेझिंग सेलिब्रिटी हु इज एन इंडियन लेटन एंड बॉलरूम डान्सर Bollywood choreographer actor columnist dance reality show judge radio jockey and a TEDx speaker friends please help me welcome shri sandeep soparkar from amchi mumbai maharashtra india welcome sandeep ji to spotlight with abha thank you ma'am it's an honor talking with you and thank you for calling me on your show my pleasure friends Though most of you are aware of Sri Sandeep Soparkar ji still I would like to highlight some of interesting aspects of Sandeep ji's life Sandeep Soparkar is an Indian Latin and ballroom dancer Bollywood choreographer actor columnist dance reality show judge radio jockey and a TEDx speaker who holds a doctorate in world mythology folklore from Pacifica Graduate Institute the United States and also an honorary doctorate in performing arts from the National American University he has been honored with three national excellence awards and one national achievement award by the government of india he is also the recipient of the rabindranath tagore literary award for social achievement he founded india dance week which combines indian and international dance he also became a philanthropist with his worldwide initiative dance for a cause where he uses dance drama and music as a medium to raise awareness of various social issues in society at the british house of commons the world book of records indo british cultural forum honored suparkar with the title of ballroom dance jewel queen elizabeth ii and prince charles have written personal letters of appreciation to sandeep soparkar for promoting ballroom and latin dance culture in india he was the first indian to be invited to judge the asian latin and ballroom dance championship held at colombo where 32 countries took part with 78 competitive dancers he is the first indian who was invited to be on the jury of sharm sheikh's international theater festival for the youth egypt along with other top theater personalities from all over the world so parker is a noted contributor to the asian age and afternoon voice newspapers his radio show in india on radio nasha radio 1 and fever fm title aao twist kare with rj sandeep so parker received the world book of records london uk certification as the world's first radio dance show apart from that he is also nominated as a goodwill ambassador for the world bank of records usa wow 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 this is really flabbergasting and astonishing sandeep ji fantastic really so sandeep ji people know you as latin ballroom dancer bollywood choreographer etc etc but today we want to know about the roots of this commendably successful full fledged fruitful and successful sandeep sopark <laughs> well the roots are very very strong that is why i am where i am today my great grandfather was the doctor to mahatma gandhi uh, he was doctor to amarji desai um a whole lot of the politicians that time freedom fighters were all coming to him for the ilaj and that's where my my great grandfather was from my grandfather was the first gynecologist in the indian army my father fought the pakistan china war my mother's my paternal side grandfather was was uh, mutsami naidu who was sent to kalapani for uh, for revolting against the britishers so there has been a lot of um, i would say um, rooted connections to the uh, to to india my father was in the indian army like i told you so i think the ballroom dancing began all because of the army culture my grandfather like i said was the first gynecologist in the indian army and uh, my father followed followed him as well so and in the in the army mess a couple of years back now of course it's changed but in those days they would have people playing um, live bands singing cha chas and tangos and waltzes and you know all these 
uh, classic numbers. I still remember when I, uh, at the age of five, I was taken to to the army mess. My grandmother asked, and I walked into this ballroom, and I saw these beautiful ladies in saris and gowns, and the men in the tuxedos and uniforms doing a dance which looked so out of this world. And I was wondering what it was, and my grandmom told me, "Do you want to dance?" And I said, "Yes." So she said, "Come on, let's do the fox trot." And it was the first dance that she taught me, which was the fox trot. So. I think I will never forget that till today the image is so clear in my in my mind that how it all uh, came to me and I think that's where the love for the art form started and uh, it's still going on. <laughs> Amazing. So uh, first of all, salute to such a uh, you know respected family you are coming from. Just a uh, uh, salute to all your great grandfathers and father and all the other members of the family who have contributed so much in the you know history of. indian culture uh, and of course indian army so uh, really it's commendable roots are actually very strong really and Thank that's why you. that passion is coming out uh, you know whatever you are performing whatever you are giving to the society so how did you came into dancing just now you told that your mother you know first uh, she took to that dance floor but after that uh, this uh, special specifically to this latin ballroom and then bollywood choreography and all so latin ballroom started off um, when i was in germany as a teenager and um, you know I, next to my house there was a dance class and there were these beautiful girls coming there i'll be honest with you all pretty girls coming in you know holding them in your arms and dancing i would see what was happening and i was like i want to do that too so it it kind of uh, started off from there honestly it was to socialize with people but later on in my 20s i realized ballroom dancing was not about having women in your arms it was about understanding yourself it was discovering yourself through someone with you so just because i have someone with me i discover myself in return as well it's 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 like a marriage when you stay with someone you discover yourself as well yeah so that is how uh, i realized and i had to study dance not just dance as steps which most of us do 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 it wasn't about the steps it was about the history the culture the background the evolution how it changed how it evolved and going going to different different places as student exchange programs i um, went to so many different countries lived there studied the authentic dances and i realized there was so much of depth to the dance than what i thought the frivolous part of it of having a drink in your arm and your hand and a woman in your arm and just swaying around it was lot more than just that and when i studied the history i realized that ballroom dancing has got a history way back 3500 bc so that old this dance form is though today you see it at night clubs today you see it uh, at catholic weddings yes but there is a lot more depth to it and when i studied that depth i fell further in love with it so much so that till today i am in love with it <laughs> that's really great and uh, i think uh, there are very you know handful of choreographers must be there who actually uh, do so much of deep research behind the dance they are teaching they are performing or they are you know uh, passing on to some other people so when it comes with such a research work deep research work and uh, the passion uh, and the depth behind you know learning those things definitely the outcome which uh, you know we see is uh, uh, what we say amazing there is very beauty i was i was learning this dance called tanura in egypt just a couple of years back about 5 6 years back and my one of the teachers who was teaching me she, he he she told me leila majnu ki wajah se kahani ban gaya raks which is dance raks pehle jismani phir ruhani ban gaya so it wow. takes time it takes time for you to reach or any of us to reach to a certain level of you know, feeling spirituality in in the dance form or feeling spirituality even in teaching you you evolve so much just because you associate with people and i think that is what is the beauty of any dance form not just ballroom dancing but in any dance form if you just surrender yourself is when you is when you will achieve it जब द्रौपदी का वस्त्र हो रहा था तब उसने जब तक दुपट्टा जब तक साड़ी अपने मुंह में पकड़ी थी तब तक उसकी साड़ी खींची जा रही थी जैसे साड़ी छूट गई और हाथ ऊपर कर दिए शी सरेंडर टू हिम व्हेन यू सरेंडर 
you always achieve it's when you hold on when you don't achieve so i think as a dance in as a dancer or as a dance when you learn it you just surrender to the art form completely with your mind body and your soul you just give it give it all that you have emotionally spiritually mentally socially physically everything you're just giving to the art form so when you do that you just achieve whatever is coming to you how how much ever comes to you <laughs> absolutely is just like a sadhana aap jitna usme apne tap ko dete jayenge aap utna paate jayenge bilkul beautiful beautiful thought i actually got goosebumps when you uh, said that uh, share lala mashnu wala so really i abs- uh, truly agree with you so as a philanthropist also with your this worldwide initiative of dance for cause you create awareness for various social causes in the society yeah. by using your dance drama and all that so can you please elaborate about this noble initiative of yours you know my grandfather when i was started to start my class he told me one thing iska dhanda mat banana it's it's coming out of passion it's coming out of my heart don't make a business business out of it and somewhere i think in the rut of running your dance school doing choreography for bollywood films it does become a business somewhere because you are talking money and things like that so i still remember him telling me once when we were sitting and chatting he said talwar aur top yudh jeet sakti hai talwar aur top yudh jeet sakti hai lekin kala aur kalam yudh chhed sakti hai and i always remember though he is not here anymore may his soul rest in peace but i think some of his words are so clear in my mind that is why in 2008 i said i must do something to create awareness kala aur kalam yudh chhed sakti hai what is my way to chhedo the yudh main kya kar sakta hu ki i can bring in the awareness in people so i began dance for a cause and i was so fortunate enough that in that time late mrs parmeshwar godrej helped me for it and she supported my initiative we did a first show of save the tiger the cause of save the tiger which is our national animal at the best platform in the world which is the world economic forum in davos in switzerland so we had bill clinton sitting in front of us nicholas sarkozy sitting in front of us chidambaram ji was sitting in front of us biggest names in the the political world from the business world were sitting there and i had support of mrs parmeshwar godrej i can never forget that and that is how the first dance for a cause began and year after year we pick up one cause and we uh, prepare a small dance drama 10 minutes 20 minutes depending upon what the cause is and we perform it all over the world today i have support from united nations for it uh, they are funding me for it we have uh, we perform in singapore dubai mauritius maldives of course india usa london i'm performing so germany i'm performing so many countries every year for the past 2 years i haven't been doing it because of the pandemic but every month i'm in some country or the other just doing dance for a cause and that is what got me my national excellence award by the government of india my national achievement award came from there uh, rabindranath tagore uh, prize also came from dance for a cause bhutan government issued a stamp in our name uh, appreciating dance for a cause so i think it's just because through this dance drama we have created so much of awareness in people aid promoting ngos raising funds for them raising uh, you know people come and speak about the ngo there's so much that happens it's not just the dance that you see you go back with a big message some of them people go back crying some of them some people go back awakened so i think that's what is the main aim to do um, dance for a cause is just to make people realize what's happening in the society and we as dancers are the window to the society if we don't show what's happening who else will show it as artists we need to show the truth we can't camouflage we can't put carpet over it we need to show what's happening and dance for a cause does just that wow this is really great and that is why you know uh, these uh, culture and art of any country when they spread such awareness messages that's why uh, they are considered as the you know one of the most strong pillar in the society to create uh, social uh, opinion or the public opinion if i if i say for any reason I Even so agree had, with you. Yes. So uh, that is really commendable. I must job. give you a small incident that happened. I was performing in New York and uh, <clears throat> it was um, domestic violence. The theme was domestic violence. And the show got over. Two ladies come up to me, one black, one white, sobbing. 
so i thought they just liked it yes some people come because they get an emotional they're holding me and they're hugging me and they're crying best friends they work in the same company the black lady is telling me sir 15 years i'm been going through domestic violence 15 years the black lady or the white lady is saying 8 years every day my husband beats me every day and best friends have not told each other oh they have kept their mouth shut we think whites must be very very open minded blacks must be bindas but imagine 15 years and 8 years best friend working the same company not spoken to each other what's happening in the life is a today after watching your show we are going to stand up for it i think i have started crying when they told me that so i think this that's the aim of dance for a cause to make my entire mehnat of so many months of putting the show together i think was solved thank god that those two ladies came up and said i'm going to take a stand for it so i don't know how many have been affected by it because we have performed everywhere some people come and speak up some don't speak up so um well i'm happy that it, it's it got uh, its its results i think uh, those who don't even come to you and speak up i think kahin na kahin wo apni life mein bhi kahin ja kar thodi si awaaz to zarur uthate honge ya kuch sochne pe majboor zarur hote honge ki ye jo message pass on kiya gaya hai hum kitna seh rahe hain aur ye sehna bahut galat hai बिल्कुल डेफिनेटली अगर दो लोग आपके पास आए हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं बाकी के जो सौ हजार लोग उस समय वहाँ रहे होंगे आपकी ऑडियंस में उन्होंने भी कहीं ना कहीं कुछ ना कुछ वो अवेयरनेस जरूर पाई होगी एब्सोल्यूटली आई कैन नॉट डिनाई दैट मैं या वहां पे नहीं थी बट जिस तरह से आपने जो इंसिडेंट सुनाया है आई कैन ट्रूली मेक आउट की वो इफेक्ट आया होगा ऑफकोर्स सो हाउ फार नाउ कमिंग अबाउट द चैलेंजेस So, how far was it challenging to establish yourself in the field of this Bollywood choreography? Choreography. Well, Bollywood choreography uh, starting was very easy. Later on, the problem started. Uh, my first film was Zubeda. I was dancing in this nightclub, and suddenly one man comes and talks to me and says, "Oh, you look like a ballroom dancer, and we are coming up with a film called Zubeda. It has Karishma Kapoor, Manoj Bajpayee, Rekha Ji, and directed by the great Sham Banegal. And we would like you to help us in the choreography." So I thought, "Chalo." you know it's good a film who doesn't want to do a film right so it began right from there uh, the film was a super hit it was pretty like lame then everybody loved the songs and dances which i we choreographed and they uh, said nikal padi bollywood mein nikal padi <laughs> i got my first award for it like things just all started off very well but then i got labeled which happens in bollywood all the time that this particular person does this dances like saroj ji will do the uh, madhuri expressions or acharya sir will do Uh, you know the, the typical masi kind of movement everybody has their own own places so my place became romantic love lovey dovey proposal type kabo karo fun hai so to break that was very tough and i think till today i have not been able to break it because when i remember meeting subhash gai ji one day he said a koi love song hoga na pyar wala to tere ko main bulaunga so i said sir i can't I do something else nahi nahi to wo romantic bahut acche se karta hai so i think that that whole concept of uh you know like they get they get tagged in in bollywood film that's what happened but i think it's it's interesting because i know my space yes i know because ballroom dancing uh, uh, and latin dancing is about man woman coming together so a lot of uh, sensuality and a lot of togetherness romance romantic moves sensual moves sexy moves all come together with that particular genre so they, it's uh, it's taken in in that way i don't have a problem with that but i think i do have ability to do other things as well <laughs> but uh, it's i just probably never got the opportunity for it but yes all the songs that after i did were all uh, on similar lines which was uh, you know tagged as sexy and sensual in that way okay so one i can also name it over here that darling aapko se aake pyar karne do from saath khun maaf if i'm not saath khun maaf that's right that's really a very peppy song and uh, became very much popular with the special kind of you know the the, the song is was like that and dance was like very steppy dekhte se wo apne aap wo russian style na paav aise utha patak yeah absolutely so uh, very nice so yes so uh, you have worked with great directors and actors which one was your favorite choreographed Arre song <laughs> Arre baap. Arre baap. and which one was the most challenging ah uh, 
my favorite was uh, with rithik roshan this film called kites a song called fire and it got me my screen award also for it it uh, was absolutely brilliant because of rithik roshan i think he just made the entire choreography out of this world he's brilliant 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 and brilliant as a dancer outstanding his work is and whatever as a choreographer we have to you know surpass our own uh, benchmarks each time we work with him so whether it was his hrx launching his um britannia ad or his movies whatever i have done with him i think every time i'm doing work with him i have to think completely out of my box that's been one of my favorites a uh, challenging was this film i did called uh, holiday which didn't do too well in box office it was pooja bhat's film with dino morya and anjali nair and uh, kashmir asha it was a remake of dirty dancing and it was i worked 9 months on that film like normally we work 3 days 4 days for a film choreography i worked 9 months on that film and the dancers were completely from scratch teaching them right leg left leg what is salsa what is cha cha what is jai what is rumba what is paso doble what is flamenco every dance form was brought on that film though it didn't do commercially well but i think it's very close to my heart because it's one film where i really worked hard 9 months is like having a baby <laughs> I actually yeah, did that absolutely long yeah. i totally <laughs> agree anyways uh, it's a like part and parcel of life sometimes we yeah. learn also you know from our such uh, 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 not failures we say but sometimes we हमारे टाइम में वो शायद वो उस हिस्से की सक्सेस नहीं थी हम ऐसा yeah, सोच सकते हैं एंड येट बेटर हैज टू कम दैट वी यू नो एब्सोल्युटली उसके साथ आगे हमें बढ़ते रहना है ओके सो नाउ करंटली व्हिच प्रोजेक्ट्स यू आर वर्किंग ऑन आई एम नॉट ऑफ थिएटर नाउ डेज आई एम डूइंग दिस प्ले इट्स इट्स टुमारो आई हैव अ प्ले एट प्रीसी थिएटर्स कॉल्ड जन्नत सेंट्रल आई हैव वन मोर व्हिच इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल प्ले इट्स बाय कुलविंदर बख्शीश इज कॉल्ड डेथ कॉन्करर कर्ण which is um, the english adaptation of this marathi book called mrityunjay and we have some very interesting dances in it we have thangta we have kallari we have a little bit of ballroom there's a lot of dance form mixed in it and it's a wonderful play and i'm acting in both these plays so i'm just really excited about um, coming back on stage after such a long time so it just feels nice there are two three movies which i have done they are still stuck uh, they should be probably coming out end of this year because of the pandemic a lot of things got delayed they don't want to read an ott so i think things will will take its own little time but yeah it's, you will see some more work best wishes for that thank so, you ma'am now sandeep ji to a common man aam aadmi hai na hamare jaise log hote hain jo aap logon ko aapke kaam ko no no i am also aam aadmi there's no this <laughs> we all aam aadmi <laughs> so especially today's youngsters you know they get fascinated by seeing all bollywood things and jo bhi hum movies mein dikhate hain कई बार हम डांस में जिस तरह से हीरोइन के साथ हम एक फिल्मी सफर दिखाते हैं ना तो वो ड्रीमी ड्रीमी चीजें होती हैं जो एक्चुअली रियल लाइफ में बहुत मुश्किल होती हैं सो दीज पीपल दीज यंगस्टर स्पेशली दे सी ड्रीम्स ऑफ बिकमिंग कोरियोग्राफर और एन बॉलीवुड एक्टर सो फॉर मेनी अ टाइम्स दे रन अवे फ्रॉम देयर होम एंड कम टू बॉलीवुड टू बिकम एक्टर बट दे डोंट सक्सीड एंड दे यू नो बिकम विक्टिम ऑफ सम uh you know criminal crime uh, criminal kind of people or they have been you know uh, betrayed by some people kind of so for such people what kind of message would you like to give what is the darker side of your this uh, bollywood uh, you know limelight well uh, firstly i would definitely tell people don't run away from your house because maa baap ka aashirwad bade boodon ka aashirwad jo hota hai apni zindagi mein bahut important hota hai आपको कभी सक्सेस नहीं मिल सकती अगर आप घर से भागे हुए हैं सो आप घर से सबसे पहले मत भागिए कम्युनिकेट विद योर पेरेंट्स कम्युनिकेट विद योर एल्डर्स टेल देम व्हाट इज इन योर माइंड टुडे वर्ल्ड इज बिकम लिटिल मोर मॉडर्न देयर इज मोर एक्सेप्टेबल टुवर्ड्स थिंग्स गिव योरसेल्फ सम टाइम बाय टाइम फ्रॉम देम 2 साल 3 साल जो भी आपको चाहिए मोहल्लत मांगो आओ ट्राई और लक बट डोंट डिसहार्टन देम जब दिल टूटता है ना तब आवाज नहीं होती बट बिकॉज ऑफ इच तो जो अपसेटनेस आती है ना यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू सक्सीड एंड इवन इफ यू सक्सीड द सक्सेस इज नॉट सक्सेस तो जब तक आपके लोग आपके साथ नहीं हो आपके सपोर्ट ना हो बैकबोन ना हो आपके पास आप खड़े नहीं रह सकते दिस इन दैट सक्सेस एंड मनी एंड सक्सेस फ्रूट्स ऑफ लाइफ 
but your family and dear friends are the roots of your life true you cannot stand without your roots but you can still live your life without the fruits so it's it's very simple you must must keep them with you chalo even agar aap bhag kar aa bhi gaye hain aur aapko success nahi mil raha aapko jo chahiye aapko nahi mil raha aapki mahatvakanksha itni badi hai aap usko achieve nahi kar pa rahe hain there is no harm in going back there is no harm in going and going and telling your mother and your father i'm sorry for what i did because maa baap hi ek hi hain jo maaf kar denge Absolutely. wife wife maaf nahi karegi टीचर्स माफ नहीं करेंगी दोस्त माफ नहीं करेंगे बट माँ बाप एक ऐसे हैं जो हमेशा कुछ भी आपने किया हो माफ करेंगे दैट इज द खासियत ऑफ अ माँ एंड अ बाप सो आप जाइए वापस माफी मांगिए गो बैक टू योर हाउस डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू इन योर हाउस दे विल बी देर टू सपोर्ट यू टू हेल्प यू सो प्लीज डोंट गेट डिसहार्ट डोंट गेट डू रॉन्ग हैंड डोंट गेट डू ड्रग्स डोंट गेट डू सेक्स ट्रैफिकिंग डोंट गेट डू एनी ऑफ दिंग दैट दैट इज वेरी पॉपुलर और इट डज है don't get into that don't get into things which are not you know you're not there for you came here to become an actor or a choreographer or whatever so jo bhi aapka aim hai life ke agar aapko success nahi mil raha the only place where you will get chaya is your own house so on this point Bapa i jai. just want you to you know just highlight a a, a short uh, you know message kind of thing ki you know aap log jo mehnat karte hain itni jo cheeze chakka chaunda movies mein 3 ghante mein dekh kar ke Uh, we just come out of uh, the uh, you know theater and uh, popcorn ka packet side mein dal kar movie achhi hai nahi hai us pe comment kiya and we forget it right so what is actually the darker side they should know i think many people they don't understand how much efforts you all are paying uh, uh, after uh, you know a uh, one movie also you know ek ek gaane ke liye we rehearse 7 7 8 8 days we shoot 3 3 4 4 days If it's a director like Sanjay Lila Bhansali ji, we shoot 18, 20 days for one song. जो आप दो मिनट में देखते हैं या तीन मिनट में देखते हैं, उसको हमने 20-20 दिन, 25-25 दिन शूटिंग के 20 दिन रिहर्सल के तो और कभी-कभी एक-एक महीना रिहर्सल लगता है. आप देखते हो तीन मिनट के लिए. So the darker side is that we work for 12 hours to 18 hours every day and finish the song in 25 days, including rehearsal of 30 days. and you see it for 3 minutes and you think gana acha nahi tha so it is it's quite disheartening that someone just just shuns it away because it's not nice but there is a lot of hard work so if you want to come into cinema don't think it's a cake walk don't think it's all rosy don't think it's all arc lights it's not like that it's uh, the lights are on only for a couple of minutes half the time is darkness so it is it's all the time working sweating um sometimes not proper meal sometimes not proper situations not proper locations and the other day i was shooting something and my dancer said sir kitni garmi hai sir kitni garmi hai it's an outdoor song so what do you do you have to be under the sun and you have to shoot under the sun kya kare topi pe no chhatri lo what else can you do but four days jab heat wave chal raha tha hum log shoot kar rahe the hum log aap log sab ghar baithe the pani pi rahe the hum log ko pani bhi nahi tha so things are it's it's a hard situation it's a tough situation uh, it looks very beautiful yes because it's made to look beautiful but it is not as beautiful as you think it is so it's a lot of hard work yes so i would request over here to all the audience that next time whenever you open your mouth to comment on any such yeah. movie dance or uh, you know a uh, part of actor actors role or anything please keep these thing in mind that how much sweat they have you know showered behind all these preparations so please ye bhi uh, you know hame aisa lagta hai friends ki uh, jitne bhi bade bade stars hain actors hain badi badi gaadiyon mein ghumte hain inhe kya zarurat hai but actually wo jitni mehnat karte hain utne hum aap 9 se 5 ki naukri mein bhi shayad nahi karte so hame unhe proper due respect de kar ke agli baar agar movie nahi bhi achhi lagti theek hai तभी हमारे भी कुछ काम होते हैं जो हमारे बॉस को पसंद नहीं आते हम चुप हो जाते हैं ना उसी तरह से मूवीज के लिए भी हमें बस ठीक है कह के भी उसको उतनी रिस्पेक्ट जरूर देनी चाहिए थैंक यू सो यू हैव रिसेंटली गिवन योर प्रेजेंस इन एन अवार्ड सेरेमनी ऑफ ग्लोबल एजुकेटर्स फेटर्निटी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय मिसेज रचना भीमराज का इन मुंबई सो हाउ वॉज योर एक्सपीरियंस बींग अमंग सो मेनी ऑफ एजुकेटर्स एंड स्टॉल वर्ड्स Well I felt like I was home because I am also uh, teaching dance 
you are teaching subjects different subjects different schools i am also a dance school you are also a school we all are the same family so i felt as if i was back home i was i felt nice to see people without masks firstly and it just felt nice to meet all of you including you ma'am because i think all of you have you know you have given us as students our life what we do today what we are today is all because of our school all because of our teachers many of us don't probably acknowledge it many of us do we wherever i am today is only because of my teachers be it my school teachers my hotel management teachers my mba teachers my phd teachers my dance teachers my uh, all, when i was working my bosses they are also my teachers so i think if in, in our, every sphere of our life we meet our teachers i still go to my college whenever i am in pune i still go to my school whenever i am in different different cities because my father in the army so we study in different schools i still go and meet some of my teachers i am still in touch with my teachers or now, now social media has become so good so on instagram facebook i am in touch with my teachers as well and i till today ask them for suggestions about things in my life i think they uh, you all played an important role and it was a day to acknowledge uh, all, all of you for the work that you have done in different fields of 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 your teaching career and i think that felt so wonderful to see that every teacher who was there was an icon every teacher was an achiever because everyone as a teacher i believe is an achiever because they uh, bring in life into people's lives absolutely and on this note i just want to thank ms rachna bhim rajka who actually you know created an event where i met you and uh, now today we are doing the show so thanks to her for you know making us meet over there and uh, yes of course thank you ms rachna bimraj ka to giving me an opportunity to moderate the event so that was my first ever chance and here also i learned one thing that uh, you know i was little scared i have never uh, moderated any live event as such or oh. ceremony i do moderate events on online it is just because of lockdown i have learned all these things but i have never done any live event moderation so i was little scared and ma'am said uh, abha there's always a first time so don't uh, don't <laughs> be scared and just have a confidence you are so confident you have done previous events online and you have done so well main ka ma'am wo online tha wa samne kaafi sara public nahi tha but uh, yes uh, with her so much of moral support i was able to do it well and people appreciate in my work so thank you to her no rachna ji is fabulous her organization skills are brilliant and the yeah. way she brings everyone together not just from bombay but even all over the country i think yeah. it's commendable work that she is doing absolutely absolutely so sandeep abhi ho gayi hamari bahut sari detailed baatein hai na ab now i'm going to shoot some rapid fire questions to you are you ready okay <laughs> i am ready always ready <laughs> okay so your first bollywood movie as a choreographer is a better your dream of life my dream of life to keep dancing till i die success for you ah the blessings i get from people your favorite actor actress rekha ji undoubtedly and akshay kumar wow both are my favorites too your favorite <laughs> movie my favorite movie umrah jaan wow here also same thing sandeep <laughs> hates i hate but nothing really um maybe samosas and pakoras I just feel I'll turn fat, so I don't want to eat them. So I just say I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sandeep's favorite dish? Oh, you will not believe pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't like samosa, but I love pizzas. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Okay, Sandeep. Sandeep feels great when. Uh, when I talk to people, I think when I interact with them, it just makes me feel wonderful. Uh, I think people teach me a lot. Great. Sandeep's favorite leisure time activity. Uh oh, nothing really. I don't have time for leisure. I'm all the time working, all the time busy. But uh, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't actually. I don't have leisure time. You're making me think now. I'm just all the time doing something or the other. Take out some time for yourself then. <laughs> But I think when I dance, it's just it's time for myself. When I'm with my children, it's time for myself. I'm a single father, so it's very. It's, it's difficult to maintain the two things but i am all the time doing something and i think it's when i'm with the kids i learn myself when i dance i learn myself so there's always i'm with my, i'm reading 
when I'm not doing anything like dancing, I'm reading. So I'm always doing something or the other, and I think it always makes me go within whatever I do. Great. So Sandeep's mission of life to spread dance all over the world, and I hope everyone should dance because I think dance is in blood of everybody. Our blood dances inside us. The leaves dance. The earth is dancing around the sun. We all are dancing. Our, our eyelids are dancing. We all are dancing. Our breath is dancing. Everything in us is dancing. I hope everyone can actually dance. Wow, so beautiful. And the, with this, we come to the end of rapid fire round. Thank you for your wonderful answers. So, Thank jate, you, ma'am. Jate, I would like you to address all the young dancers and choreographers who look forward. Viewers, uh, you and other, uh, you know, successful choreographers uh, for a bright future, but don't know how to achieve it. So, what will be your one message to them? Oh, firstly, I think today's kids don't require any message. <laughs> they are, <laughs> I think, over very smart, and they know exactly what they want to do. They are quite clear with their vision in life. But I think, as a dancer, if you want to uh, achieve something in life as a dancer. or as even as human being if we because dance is inspired by nature if we learn uh five things from five different birds it will make us better dancers first uh like the crow they say kaka snanam like the crow what does crow do it comes fatafat naata hai chala jata hai that means your personal things which are there it should be kept minimum you should be dancing डांस शुड बी अ प्रायोरिटी नॉट शादी में जाना है तो मैं क्लास में नहीं आ सकता हूँ आज ट्रेन नहीं मिली मैं क्लास में नहीं आ सकता हूँ बारिश हो रही है मैं बंक कर रहा हूँ लाइक दीज आर ऑल एक्सक्यूज लाइक डांस शुड बी योर टॉप मोस्ट प्रायोरिटी इफ यू वॉन्ट डांस नथिंग एल्स शुड कम इन द वे नो वन एल्स शुड कम इन द वे इट्स जस्ट योर फोकस विच इज इम्पोर्टेंट दट इज वन सेकेंड लाइक द बगुला लाइक द क्रेन वॉट इज क्रेन डू स्टैंड ऑन वन फुट लेजर शार्प फोकस फटाक से पकड़ता है अपने प्रे को राइट विच मीन्स इन अ डांस क्लास और वेन यू एनी वेर एल्स द फोकस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डोंट गेट डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय थिंग्स बिकॉज यू मीट सो मेनी पीपल डोंट गेट एनामर्ड एंड डोंट गेट कैरड अवे बाय थिंग्स दर कम टू यू कैरड अवे विथ प्रेज इज कैरड अवे विथ विथ इवन विथ विथ यू नो क्रिटिसिजम्स डोंट डू दैट सो बी फोकस्ड what you want to do to achieve that third one like a woodpecker woodpecker kya karta hai ek jagah pe baith kar 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 hazar baar maarta hai tab ja ke chhed hota hai so as a dancer it's important for you to keep practicing and practicing and practicing one thing a million times like they say like you know the famous line practice till you get it right yeah no practice till you don't get it wrong तो इतनी प्रैक्टिस करो एक स्टेप की कि आप नींद से उठोगे भी तो ठीक हो जाएगा उनके पैर की एक नस थी आप बिलीव नहीं करेंगे जो ऐसे 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 ताथे ही ताथे ही ताथे ही ताथे ही चलती थी सो so वी आज थे वैसे महाराज जी क्या आपके पैर में ऐसा इनवॉलेंट्री मूवमेंट होती है इसे देखो ना सांसें भी नाचती हैं ना दैट इज कॉल्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज योर कंप्लीट प्रैक्टिस सो मच प्रैक्टिस दैट इट इज बिकम इन पार्ट ऑफ ए मसल दैट इज लाइक अ वुड पैकर फोर्थ वन लाइक अ स्पैरो स्पैरो कभी आपने मोटी स्पैरो देखी है स्पैरो इज ऑलवेज ब्यूटिफुल बॉडी इज ऑलवेज वेल मेंटेन जितना चाहिए उतना ही खाती है Yeah, no, no samosa, no wafer, no pizzas, no, uh, no uh, ice creams, pastries. So body for a dancer is very important. Body is our temple. Through this temple we pray. Through this temple we showcase. So you need to take care of your temple. You need to exercise. You need to remain fit. You need to remain agile. There's so much that's important for you. So be like a chidiya, ahar, alpahari, just as we say. Be आहार जो आपका है बी केयरफुल ऑफ दैट विच मोस्ट ऑफ अस डोंट यू सी डांसर्स टर्निंग फैट यू सी डांसर्स टर्निंग अनहेल्दी यू सी डांसर्स लूजिंग देयर फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी व्हाटएवर 
So be very careful of that. And the fifth one is like an eagle. Eagle flies the highest, but the eyes are on the ground. So you might get a lot of praises, appreciation, awards, rewards, travel. You meet the best of people in the world. But remember, you don't dance in the clouds. You dance on the ground. So be grounded, be humble, be friendly, be approachable. Only then you are a dancer. Otherwise, you are not a dancer. So these five birds, five qualities, if we learn, you probably will become better dancer. and you become better human beings and uh, rest will follow this is so beautifully you have explained <laughs> sanjeev ji and i think not for dancers i think these five birds whatever you have qualities you have uh, you know the said they are applicable in all parts of life if you really want to become successful and uh, you know want to be famous famous is not only getting achievements but also be uh, you know uh, to be on ground as you said so wonderful so with this we come to the end of this episode so thank you very much sandeep ji for giving your valuable time from your such a tight schedule i know you are very busy i'm sorry i came in about 5 minutes late i was i've had a class i just finished and i came running into your to chat with you but thank you for inviting me it's been a pleasure to, talking with you and thank you for this wonderful session thank you so much my heart is gratitude for sharing such wonderful insights so friends Please do subscribe to my channel Spotlight with Abha and yes please do press the bell icon nearby it. Thank you for showering your love and keep watching Spotlight with Abha. This is Abha Jadhav along with today's guest Sri Sandeep Soparkar ji signing off now. Do take Thank very you. good care of yourself and your family members. Bye bye. Namaskar and Jai Hind.